Management Concepts from the Seven Kingdoms Pub by Group Vizirion by Sean Woodward, Mario Levine, Neil Patel, Brandon Tucker, Julian Mendez, and Jin Long Chen. From a land far, far away comes a story of a group of out-of-place medieval individuals that have found themselves living in St. Pete. They opened a pub known as the Seven Kingdoms Pub. Cersei, the micromanaging general manager, is the iron fist of the land and expects nothing but perfection. Each member of her team have different skills and weaknesses that if not executed properly could lead to the downfall of the Kingdoms Pub. The staff is constantly trying to come up with new ideas and events that will ultimately draw more people in. Will they be able to keep the pub afloat? Will they be able to effectively target their market? As tension builds to find a new general manager or get Cersei to change, the team must come together and rise. Will the staff crumble under the pressure or will they be able to ignore the tension and continue to connect their legacy of greatness with their customers? Will the team be able to work together? Only time will tell. Come with us and together we will seek these answers. The target market is outgoing, young, and lively individuals. We want to target people that are young and can create energy for the future. Ultimately, we would love to target those that are in or are looking to get into management in order to see there is more to the job than it seems. It is important to show that certain aspects of management that work in this business and those that don't. We feel it is important to target younger crowds, high school to college students, because those groups of individuals are the future managers of our society. It is important that we show what makes and breaks a good manager as well as what it truly means to be a great leader. Our TV series takes place in the Seven Kingdoms pub in St. Pete, Florida. The staff and managers are learning that there is so much more to management than building a schedule and just being a manager. Through various obstacles and events that take place throughout the episodes, the team of the Seven Kingdoms Pub has to figure out ways to sort through their professional as well as their personal differences in order to ensure that the success of their pub. They have to look past certain differences like management styles and the fact that they won't like every person they work with. Throughout each episode, they are constantly trying to think of new ideas and events that could take place in order to gain more customers and create relationships with these customers. They want to create relationships that in turn keeps the customer coming back for more than just food and beer. With so many different managing styles, things are bound to get messy at times. The staff at the Seven Kingdoms pubs must find a way to balance each other's different styles and learn different tactics to create the growth of their business they crave so badly. Our managers are Tyrion Lannister, Samwell Tarly, Daenerys Targaryen, Arya Stark, Cersei Lannister, and Jon Snow. Tyrion Lannister is the bar manager. His responsibilities are running the bar, bar inventory, bar schedules, and training new bartenders. His disposition is extroverted, personally ambitious, cunning, and charismatic. Disadvantages are opposing strategic vision and egoism. His goal is to get Cersei's general manager job. Samuel Tarley is the kitchen manager. His responsibilities are food procurement, create an interesting menu, and a reasonably scheduled staff. His disposition has no ambition, an introvert, and holds a grudge to being mistreated by Cersei. His advantage is excellent technical skills, a great chef with extensive restaurant experience, and he is good with the staff. His disadvantages is lax communication skills, social aptitude, leadership skills, important managerial qualities such as empathy and sensitivity, and he is an inflexible. Daenerys Targaryen is the floor manager. Her responsibilities are in charge of the waitstaff, fantastic multitasker, and handling customer complaints. Her disposition is extroverted, personable, optimistic, and upbeat. Her advantages are positive leader attributes such as trustworthiness, honesty, and dependability, loves to be involved and understand the staff. Her dilemma is she is underappreciated, not listened to, and does too much work for one person. Arya Stark is the assistant floor manager. Her responsibilities is being the floor manager alongside Daenerys. However, she is very careless and yet keeps constant relationships with the customers. Her disposition is disorganized, empathetic, and lazy. Her advantage is she's strong interpersonal skills, which helps keep relations with the customers. Her disadvantages are she's careless, unmotivated towards employees, lacks time management and organizational skills, and is untrustworthy. 
Cersei Lannister is the general manager. Her responsibilities are being the general manager that runs the establishment and oversees the others. Her disposition is stern, authoritative, lacks compassion, and is an introvert. Her advantage is she runs the business side of things well, but she micromanages all aspects of the business. Her disadvantage is she creates a hostile work environment, very enforcive and threatening, does not provide feedback, and employees are scared to approach her. Jon Snow is the assistant general manager. His responsibilities are assisting the general manager who handles the marketing aspects and researches the customer's reviews. His disposition is an extrovert, friendly, and determined. His advantages as good work ethic, employees are comfortable with him, and strong belief in empowering the employees. His disadvantages are does not understand how to control power, too nice to his employees, more of a friend than a leader. Episode developments, one through six. It's a regular day at the office and all the employees of the Seven Kingdoms pubs are present. Samwell and Tyrion have a brief conversation about the office and display a glimpse of their personalities. Cersei interacts with her assistant general manager, Jon Snow, displaying her managerial tactics. Lastly, this episode will also show the interactions of Arya Stark and Daenerys Targaryen and what they have either provide or lack while contributing to the business. Daenerys realizes that since she's focused on the business shared strategy that she must ensure the efficient use of resources, but also use the resources in a way that maximize achieving the organization's goals. Daenerys decides to take initiative and begin strategizing the four principal managerial function most applicable to today's organizations, which are planning, organizing, directing, and controlling. She decides to confront the GM Cersei and attempts to give her ideas on managing styles, but Cersei doesn't pay her any mind. This in turn causes hostility because Daenerys understands where the pub is lacking. Afterwards, Daenerys brings this to Tyrion's attention and he lets her know that he's trying to get Cersei fired. Samwell overhears all of this and confines this information to Jon Snow, who is the one person Samwell trusts. Jon Snow assumes the figurehead role and he wants the team to meet and begin tactical planning for the team's short-term goals and objectives. Because of Tyrion's intention, he makes it a priority to include ethical decision-making and social responsibility. Daenerys is contemplating her approach situation because she doesn't want to ruin anybody's career and would rather the business grow with the current team. She realizes that the guests rate the restaurant as average and wants to brainstorm ways to improve relationship with customers as well as their employees. She speaks to John since this is his area. The two of them begin brainstorming on how they increase their ratings. They have an epiphany and recognize that Arya is a strong relationship with guests and this could prove to be a great teaching moment for Arya to grow as a leader. Daenerys and Jon plan on Arya maturing professionally and personally. The three of them begin collaborating on setting the target audience. Daenerys, Jon, and Arya finalize their decision on which audience they'd like to target. Now the team is concerned with how to reach their target audience. Their target audience is the young, outgoing, and entertaining individuals. However, the team has trouble agreeing on how they should market themselves. In this episode, we see Daenerys' strong interpersonal skills come into play as she continues taking on the leadership role. In the end, Daenerys' managerial skills and growth minds prevail that she and her team are able to discuss different methods of advertising so they can accomplish their short-term goals and objectives. Cersei begins to notice the camaraderie between her three managers as they're collaborating frequently. She's actually overjoyed at the commitment Arya, Jon, and Daenerys have shown. Cersei addresses the three managers and sincerely congratulates them in making a positive experience. Daenerys tries again to address Cersei's managing method, and this time Cersei pays attention. Daenerys throws a proposition Cersei's way about delegating responsibilities throughout this team. Cersei agrees with Daenerys' approach and decides to call a meeting because she feels that every employee has a way to help the team and business thrive. In the final episode, all employees come together to discuss the ups and downs throughout the office. They also brainstorm how to improve relationship with customers as well as each other. Each employee has qualities that others could benefit from if they learn to communicate openly with each other. To begin their group discussion, Cersei states that she apologizes for the unsettling work environment she's been managing for a long time. She also compliments Daenerys on her willingness to take leadership and lets her know how a bright future she has. Daenerys then speaks up on Arya's maturity professionally and personally. She states that Arya has improved her organization skills and has been more open to accept the coaching being offered to her from her superiors. Jon is then complimented by how Arya 
on how motivated he is and how great his work ethic is. Samuel and Tyrion are the last to speak on how to improve problems. Tyrion states that he'd like more responsibility to help the business grow. Cersei agrees to aid Tyrion in his request, and in turn, he is shocked and overjoyed, relieving him of any bad intentions. Samwell lets everyone know that even though he doesn't say much, he appreciates everyone's ability to comprehend what the other's concerns and goals are for the business. He also states that they could make this work no matter what obstacles are in front of them. Some concepts that we will be using for our target management TV show is coercion, influence tactics, transformational leadership, transactional leadership, empowering, emotional intelligence, and social intelligence. As well as task behaviors, organizational leadership, and operational planning, among others as we continue to learn in this course. For our group process report, our team in the past learned and used decision making to complete milestone one. During the entire planning process, each member created a set of general ideas and roles as a TV show and the corresponding storyboards through brainstorming. Mm -hmm. Finally, we decided the next topic in the form of voting. Sean's restaurant program became a winner by referring to Game of Thrones. In the next milestone two, we organized a three-man relay game. The first group refines and expands the characteristics of the six characters, and the second group creates three episodes based on the character descriptions obtained. The group then worked on the design challenge for the week. But presently, for milestone three, work was divided according to the members' wishes. Sean was responsible for the teaser video and for the TV show and polishing of the PowerPoint. Brandon expands more in-depth character description and managerial ideas. Julian integrated textbooks to link the three old episodes and innovated three new storylines to reach a good ending. In the production of the slides, Marielle produced a pitch about what the TV show is about, including a short summary of the whole TV show and target market. Jin Long and Neil integrate management ideas and theories based on new role descriptions and storylines. Team helped edit the PowerPoint and add content. Our future plan consists of being focused on timely completion of each assignment as well as continuing the development of our storyline. We as a team will learn from each step of the show not only on the textbook readings valuable, but teamwork skills to be needed in our future professions. We will continue to be successful in this course by being proactive and working ahead using the syllabus to guide us. We hold each and everyone accountable this way. We can learn to communicate our issues and work as a team. Our main goal is to stay organized by setting tasks and our own deadlines, finding everyone's strongest skill, and divide tasks among everyone equally so we can receive maximum output. Our future plan consists of filming and editing episodes one through six and completion of the booklet. And now we would like you to click on the link and see the Seven Kingdoms Pub teaser video.